This is Avatars Radio News on the Hour. Give us five minutes and we'll give you the metaverse. This is News on the Hour for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. I'm Alain Dragonfire reporting. In more anti-player news coming out of Activision Blizzard, the new trading post feature in World of Warcraft is nearly here. And within it is a new reward that players have been requesting for a long time. A new achievement called Training Post Enthusiast requires players to earn monthly special rewards from the trading post. Doing so will unlock an achievement that awards a new cosmetic set called Burden of Unrelenting Justice, which allows players to dress up as one of the franchise's iconic Night Elf Wardens. The catch? A total of 12 monthly rewards must be collected to achieve the sought-after prize, effectively taking a minimal year to complete, and longer if months are missed. The news isn't going over well with the game's fan base. Comments on fan site forums include, quote, Having to wait an entire year for this is absolutely ridiculous, end quote. Another commenter stated, quote, One year of farming, you're out of your mind, end quote. And, of course, quote, They sure know how to kill enthusiasm for the trading post, end quote. Developed under codename Project Renee, The Sims 5 promises a multiplayer buy and build mode that could lead to Minecraft like creations, but developer Maxis stresses that, quote, it will not be an MMO, end quote. It's been nine years since the last Sim game, The Sims 4, was published. Sims fans around the world are eagerly anticipating The Sims 5. However, they are worried Maxis may continue to charge unusually high prices for expansions and stuff packs that come out after the game's publication. This is a monetization scheme Maxis has used since the first Sims came out in 2000. Now many gaming companies have adopted the practice, which is to make a game publish it as a bare-bones starting game, and then afterward, additional content that always adds up to much more than the original game's price is sold. In more The Sims news, a substantial update for The Sims 4 dropped on PC and consoles on Tuesday, and with it comes a new suite of controls and schemes and customization options, but one very notable addition is expressly targeted at the trans simmer community in an effort to make them feel included and visible. In a tweet, developer Maxis says, quote, a base game update is here with new content, including medical wearables, binders, shapewear, a light switch, and more, including bug fixes and console gameplay improvements, end quote. To commemorate Final Fantasy VII's major significance as a cultural export, Japan has officially designated January 31st as the official Final Fantasy VII Day, marking the anniversary of the game's PS1 release in Japan. The Japan Anniversary Organization tweeted out saying, quote, We're delighted to announce Final Fantasy VII Day has been officially registered in Japan, end quote. A link to the tweet, which includes a special message from Yoshinori Kitase, along with all the news in today's report, can be found on our Discord server at avatarsradio.rocks slash discord. Slash Film reports that James Gunn and Peter Safran, the recently appointed co-heads of DC Studios, have laid out their initial plans for a brand new DC universe. To that end, video games will be a big part of that equation. At a recent press event attended by Slash Film, Safran said that, quote, gaming is a big part of what we're doing, and everything we do at DC comes through us, end quote. Iron Galaxy announced that the Rumbleverse will shut down on February 28th. Season 2 will also be the last season for the game. Quote, this project has been a labor of love to create a new experience in a popular and highly competitive genre for games. End quote, Iron Galaxy said in a statement. Quote, if you've been a part of that journey, we thank you. Whether you jumped into the first playtest after our reveal, or just shot yourself out of a cannon for the first time, end quote. 
A final update was pushed out on Tuesday that will close the in-game store and open the entire Rumbleverse experience to players. Every player will receive the current battle pass and earn double experience. Additional accessories and emotes will be unlocked for free as well. Electronic Arts has announced that both Apex Legends Mobile and Battlefield Mobile are shutting down. Apex Legends Mobile will sunset on May 1st, and after that point the game will no longer be playable. There was no date provided for Battlefield Mobile, but EA said that it will cease development. Industrial Toys, the studio behind Battlefield Mobile, is also being shut down altogether. Quote, Despite Apex Mobile's strong start, the ongoing experience was not going to meet the expectations of our players, end quote, explained EA in a statement. We've also made the decision to stop the development of the current Battlefield mobile title. On an earnings call, EA CEO Andrew Wilson said, quote, We have learned a great deal from Apex Legends Mobile and have plans to reimagine a connected Apex Mobile experience in the future. End quote. That's all the news on the hour for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. You've been tuned into Avatars Radio, Radio of the Avatars. To read the full articles of today's report, visit us on Discord at www.avatarsradio.rocks on the web. <laughs>